to T News Election 2020 update. Welcome back, everybody. It's 1124 p.m. on this election night. Hope you're enjoying the national coverage on CBS. Let's get you caught up on some of our latest developments here in the state of Utah. Here's a look at results so far. The Associated Press called Spencer Cox the winner of Utah's governor's race just minutes after the polls closed in Utah today. He has 64 percent of the vote to Chris Peterson's 31 percent. And just in the last hour, Peterson conceded to Cox. He issued a statement. It read in part, I'm proud that we ran an ethical race focused on policy issues. This campaign was about building a new beginning for the Democratic Party in Utah. He went on to say, my name was on the ballot, but this was never about me. It was about fighting to make a positive difference in the daily lives of working people. Now while the ballots are cast, the counting continues. Kelly Vaughn has been at the Salt Lake Clerk's office all night watching the vote counting there. There was a record number of ballots that rolled in. Here in Salt Lake County, they've been working hard with all these ballots, but it is not done yet. I'm joined by Lanny Chapman, the Deputy Chief County Clerk. All right, so tell us, what are we standing in front of right now? So we're standing in front of the vault. So these are ballots that we received today that still need to be processed, and we'll start processing them bright and early tomorrow morning. All right, so yeah, walk us through that more, everything that you guys still have to do. So we still have um, all the ballots that we received today, both in the drop boxes and at the uh, vote centers that when people dropped off a ballot. Um, we have those that we still need to tabulate, but before we even get to tabulating, we need to process them, make sure we've done signature verification, the signatures match, and we'll get those done as quickly as we can. And then tomorrow morning, should um, people expect an update as to what the results were from these ballots? So there definitely will be an update tomorrow, but it'll probably be about 4 p.m. All right, thank you so much. Uh, so come, those updates will be sure to bring you that on KTV as well. For now, reporting in Salt Lake City, Kelly Vaughn for 2 News. Okay, a look at the numbers in the most contentious and the most expensive race in Utah, the race between incumbent Ben McAdams and Republican Burgess Owens for the state's 4th Congressional District seat. McAdams with 50% uh, of the vote to uh, Burgess Owens 45%. We go now to Heidi Hatch with a closer look at this race. And Heidi, it could be a while before we know a winner here. It could be a couple weeks if last uh, time was any indication. In 2018, McAdams was not declared the winner, I think, until November 17th, and that was a race that was less than 700 votes dividing them. One thing is for sure, the good news, we will not get any more of this in the mail. It was a contentious race. So we're done with the commercials, but the counting is going to go on. You were just hearing that Salt Lake County has tens of thousands of votes. A lot of those could be going towards this race. You mentioned the numbers. They're spread by about 5 to 6% right now. Uh, that's not great for Owens until you start looking at where the numbers are still coming in. Still tonight, we have six counties that are, are still county. We've got Grand, Utah, San Pete, Salt Lake, Cache, and San Juan. Traditionally, those counties that are in rural Utah are going to end up being more conservative votes. So a lot of those could go towards Owens. Interestingly enough, too, I added up the votes from last time around, and they had 270,000 total in this race. Tonight, we only have 210,000 tallied. Plus, we think we have a bigger voter turnout. So we know we have at least 60, 70, 80,000 more votes to be counted in this race. So it's going to be exciting for a couple weeks. All right. Heidi, thank you very much. Don't forget the national election still not decided yet tonight. Don't forget the morning show bright and early tomorrow morning with all your overnight developments in election 2020. They start at 425.